The other major story today concerns this morning about dueling protests just hours away in Washington, marking one year since violent clashes erupted between white nationalists and counter protesters in Charlottesville. Overnight, some tense moments between students, activists and police in riot gear on the University of Virginia campus, where last year white nationalists were carrying torches. Those uh, white nationalists were confronted. ABC's David Wright is also in Washington where the largest protests are expected sometime this afternoon and where security is very tight. David, good morning. Good morning, Adrian and Witt. Uh, this is where it'll all go down later today. Lafayette Park, right across the street from the White House. Security, as you say, is very tight here today. D.C. authorities do not want a race riot right on the president's doorstep. As the demonstrators descend on the nation's capital, multiple law enforcement agencies are determined to keep things calm and to keep the two groups separate. White nationalists on one side of the park, counter protesters on the other. <laughs> Authorities here don't want a repeat of Charlottesville, where white nationalists and neo Nazis clashed violently with counter protesters. The melee turning deadly when a car driving at high speed mowed down counter-protesters and killed 32-year-old Heather Heyer. In Charlottesville this weekend, a peaceful memorial. ABC's Eva Pilgrim caught up with Heyer's mother. Are you worried at all this weekend? No. What will be will be and we'll move forward from there. The same group that organized last year's rally in Charlottesville, Unite the Right, is behind today's rally in Washington. I liken what I'm doing to the civil rights movement in the 1960s. Organizer Jason Kessler insists he's not racist. He sees himself as a civil rights advocate for white America. I think that white people are in a different situation than they've ever been before. Right now, white people are about to become a minority in both the United States and Europe. I think we are facing epidemic levels of anti-white discrimination. A big difference this year in Charlottesville and in Washington, the counter protesters may well outnumber the white nationalists. I think the point of the demonstration is to demonstrate to the world and to the, the city of DC that uh, these people are a minority. The city of DC and the multiple law enforcement agencies securing this area have a good deal of experience with crowd control and protest. They're going to do their best to keep these marchers separate. Behind me here, you can see the counter protesters will be on this side of Andrew Jackson, the white nationalists on the other side. Hopefully they won't even uh, come together at all. And while this is all on the president's doorstep, he's not even here. He's on his last day of vacation up in Bedminster. Guys? And he's been calling it a working vacation. David Wright, thank you for your reporting uh, from D.C. this morning. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.